Good evening and welcome to the All With Smiling Faces podcast. Questions and answers. DeAndre Yedlin. 22. Two little ducks. Quack, quack. quack. 22. So, podcast. House in the lounge. Question and answer, 22. Are you keep farting? Because you keep like moving to the left. No, I'm not farting, no, honestly, no. Oh, I'll tell you what it was. Alright, okay. Because no, no, no. you keep going. No, it's just. That was the first question of the first question. He's, answer. he's trying to give me a little peck on the it cheek. He's just helping me sunburn on my neck. Alright, okay. I've been playing golf today, you know, all day. Well, you got sunburn on your ass? Next one. No, I just. I didn't ask him, I just. Been, a, been down, down in the bunkers. <laughs> Bayback. Baybacks. <laughs> honestly, it's on fire, man. Right, so. Sand, sand, just, sand in his belly button. We'll go straight in. Right, so. <laughs> I did go on the bunkers. The first that. one, this is off a few days ago, but Cameron Archer sends in announced Top Gear episode. So what? people want to see the Top Gear episode oh. where Mark's driving from Newcastle oh, well, to it. London and we're, we're, yeah. we're just getting a leisurely stroll from Norwich to yeah, London. Yeah. People want yeah. to see it happening. It would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> we, need, we need some more views to get some money in the, oh, Jesus uh, Christ, no. in the coffers, in the funds. Uh, so also, Give right. us some more likes and subscribes. And Next shares. one, Bedford Mag. This is, this is another question, but this is something that we're talking about on the previous podcast about a recent comment that we had from a Brighton fan, Timothy. Timmy! So he sends in, I wouldn't worry too much. Timothy gets sticks of rocks and jabs them down his pee hole for fun. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Gotta say allegedly. Gotta say allegedly. Gets you away with we'll that one out earlier, didn't we? Right, so let's have a look. So someone said the man who hates Perez was wrong. That was you, mate. Just have a look. What about? Everything. Everything, yeah. So Life. I don't hate Perez. No, I know. First you question. Let's, I don't think let's, very good. let's get this clear. I don't hear them. He frustrates us. All right, okay. I don't hear many people. I know you don't, because you're not arrogant. You're not. Na- you're an well, nice, well, <laughs> nice person. Well, go on to some comments more. <laughs> so, a champ sends in who is <clears throat> at Agent Kiz. He sends in. Do you believe that was Perez's last game and goal for us? No. He's getting a new contract. Him this season. If Rafa stayed, he's getting a new contract. Hmm. We've got what two games left? Haven't we now? Haven't we? Yeah. Uh, you'll yeah. start the next two. Leicester, uh, Leicester, Liverpool, and Fulham. Mm. You'll start the next two. We are. You reckon? He'll be fine to start. Did he not put something on Instagram or something saying he was alright? I don't, he I said don't he, follow him because I don't like him. He said I'm getting. It's all. He just said I'm getting. I've got plenty of time to get treatment ready for a big game. <laughs> Dude, I've gone blocked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that every time it comes on. Yeah. No, he'll be fine. And he, he, he's not going anywhere, man. He'll, he'll have a bag of ice stays, on his hip, won't right? he? If Rafa stays, I think Perez will get a new contract. I think if Rafa goes, then Perez will want to leave as well. His brother will have been like massaging his hip for him all weekend. Yeah. Like every like single member of the squad. team. Yeah. You know what I, mean? oh my God. I think even well, Hayden's came out oh, recently and like said that he wants some investment. Richie's in came team. out and said it. Hayden's came out and said it. Good interview, actually, Hayden. Like, mm. To be fair, it was good. He's Is that the one on the Chronicle? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was really good. Yeah. So uh, Daniel sends in, who is Dan J. Peg. He sends in. Do you think if Rafa stays and gets to do most of what he wants to do this summer, he'll sign players to suit five at the back, as in specialised wing backs? Mm. Well, then we, uh, it's a tough one, isn't it? Like what we talked about last week. You know, if if money, if there's money there, unfortunately Richie's days are numbered. Unfortunately, we said last week that. Uh, of course, you can replace position, but you'll find it very hard to replace Richie as a person and carry out within that team. Hundred percent, very, very hard. And I think that, like you said in the last podcast about Dummett and how he, 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 he seems to be a Rafa player. You can guarantee if Rafa again, look how many left backs oh, Rafa's yeah. Rafa signed in his in his time. He's not happy with what we've got on that that side. Yeah. But he might keep Dummett in the in the middle. But he's not going to get in there ahead of Lejeune, Lascelles, Cher. Fernandez. I'm worried. I'm worried about the summer because how good she has been. I'm worried that someone will come in and it might turn his head because, of course, Newcastle's. We believe it's a big club, yeah. but if one of the top boys comes in, can you well, be enough for one to leave? Like, no, no, you can't. You can't. I, I, I don't know if the will yet. I think he's been fabulous. Do I think he could walk into one of them teams? Absolutely, he could walk into my United's back four. Literally walk exactly. into Man United's back four. However, even though Man United was struggling to a certain extent, Man United is still have oh, Man God. United as Abs- the course. club's name, so people are attracted to them instantly. I just feel that Man United to the world and people that would be looking for for even better a marquee than him. signing, a marquee, more money. You know what I mean? And um, and long may that continue because obviously we do want to lose yeah. him. But but if he has another year like that, but look at Lejeune. You love Lejeune more than I think Lejeune's dad loves him, right? No one's come sniffing for Lejeune. Period. 
and Najem's been very, very he's good. He's been injured. Very that's, transfer that's window, the well, thing, maybe, yeah. maybe, but he's still been good. But you look at, L- look I at think the cells has been. To be fair, the cells. I know. I know. Again, that. He, was, he was another one that started off the season a bit, a bit ropey, I a bit he, shaky, he and then he's ropey. just. But he's he's solid and he's been there now for a long captain since the first Rafa took over. No one has been linked with the cells. Everton possibly. Oh, you don't think he was linked with Chelsea. He was linked with Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Arsenal, what? Everton, Spurs. Well that's Pima. If you honestly he believe that if you, if you honestly believe that, you're daft on that thought. So do you think I don't think Rafa exactly. would would want to upgrade the of course he of course he would want to upgrade If if Rafa stays I mean, the, the, you want six Re- players, regardless right? of what happens in the summer with with Rafa, there's going to be massive, massive changes in that squad. I think Yedlin will move on the summer. Hmm. Do you not think? I still think there's a player there. You know, I, like do. I, I do. I like Yedlin. Like I do. But I think he'll, I think he'll move on. Well, I have read read a few times that he wants six players, but you've got to think of who's going to go. Who's going to go? Rondon. He needs six midfielders. I think there might be a question about that. We'll, Shelby, we'll, Hayden. We'll find it. Well, that's, yeah, that's that's what I'm. Dion. And that's why I'm saying you're gonna you're gonna have a wholesale changes in the summer, which which is a worry because it it takes time for players to bed in. If you haven't got that, you know, the familiar people that are, are used to being there and stuff like that. How long does it take them to adapt and, and that kind of thing? So I, I can I can. That's know, why it was for me why we struggled at the start of this season so much. But Dubravka came in really well. Shea's come in unreal. Fernandez, yeah. Almiron coming in. Fernandez was a proven Premier League. I'll give you that one. True. Defender, wasn't Shea he? Wasn't, he was, was a proven Premier well League player. Uh, Almiron's done great. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. played in the Fizzy Pop yeah. League for forever how long? You know, so he's good, you know. So the, the, there's definitely the No, no, he was never in League One. <laughs> you know. He was in MLS. So Daryl T nineteen eighty six sends in oh, this isn't a question, but I'll read out anyway. Listening to Q and A twenty in the garden in glorious South Shields sunshine with a beer. Yeah, Loving knows. life. Thanks, mate. Who was that? Daryl. That was Daryl. Daryl. Daryl T. Nineteen eighty-six. Oh, not other Daryl. No, so he's coming next. Oh, that's the so other Daryl. Mitchell Hill. That's our two Daryls. Yeah. Daryl. yeah. yeah it's two dads. It's like my two dads, but two Daryls. You got two dads, eh? You got two dads. No, I don't remember that film. It was. Oh no, it wasn't a film. It was a television program. Wasn't it? My two dads. Did I? Was. I've got two dads. Father-in-law. Two fathers. Well, most people have. Well, married. these were like my two dads, because <laughs> right. it no, was no, like. No, we're not married. <laughs> if you're not married, you've got two dads. <laughs> we're two gay dads. Obviously. Obviously. So, <laughs> Daryl Mitchell Hill sends in. If you remember my two I dads, just... stick it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> stick it where? In the comments. <laughs> <laughs> he sends in. This isn't a question, I'm just reading these random ones out. He says, mm. I just want to give Mark. A good shake listening to this what week's what podcast, I know. <laughs> so basically, he's slaying you for what he said about Perez, right? Yeah. Let's get some of these answers, right? So, Neil well, GR sends in one of about 20 questions which you sent in, Neil. GR, I always think of Jim Ross, do you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hell yeah. So he sends in, on a scale of 1 to 10, ten. what is Decker's level of confidence in Rafa being our manager next season? Well, I was I was you 11. You were 100%, was at, weren't yeah. you? Uh, I'm nine and a half. Really? Yeah. Really? So I've dropped down by a half. But it's hard bollocks, man. Don't worry about it, man. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I know that he's looking for things, and there's already some of the things that have been signed off. So the, the biggest one that, I, that I've heard, the biggest problem is the wage budget. Sorry, I apologise. Um, well, yes, the wage budget, but the transfer budget, mm. that's the biggest one, that he wants to know what it is he has before... Rather than saying, give windows. up, just give but up. That, that, anyway, that's, we'll that's see if we can Every time they approach him, or sorry, approach the board, they do it from a player by player basis. Mm. So then you don't know. That's why actually I'll go what back. What a way and, to run a football and I, club. And I, I apologise for everything that I said before, where I said, well, why would you go and spend all that money on Murphy? Um, because he didn't realise that was the end. But he didn't realise that that was the end. He was walking so, down a dead end there, wasn't he? I hold my hands up there, I was wrong. If that, if that was the case, I was wrong. Yeah. Um, still wouldn't have bought him for 15 million. I'd like paid for 10 million. But, 12, 12. but the, the, how, how can you run a, a club? How can you. How's that good for the football club by not actually telling your manager how it's much not, you've got to spend? It's not good for anyone. There's, mate. there's nothing good about <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. Two true. people that run our club, yeah. is there? So, he follows that up saying Rafa wants to stay. Uh, we want him to stay. The club say they want him to stay. But he still so hasn't signed it. a new contract, prove which obviously it. shows the level of ambition we all know Ashley has. Do you think Ashley realizes how much he needs Rafa? No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't. Ashley's probably under the impression where he could bring someone else in and do a similar job. Not not to the extent of what Rafa's doing, but I think Ashley's under the impression he could bring a manager in and still not get relegated with him. He just wants. He it's as we've said year after year. He just wants to scrape by. 
and keep winning the Premier League. He doesn't want us to outlay any money. He doesn't want to progress. He doesn't want to get better. He just wants us to, to languish and survive year after year. Which is not good Every enough. Every single season we're it's doing this. Enough. Every single season. Like This is what worries us with this Rafael situation is that it's every year it's like oh will he be here the next year? I just repeat it's just copy and paste but it's, it's, it's getting thing. to a point now where the contract for a year and we'll be in the same position this time next and year that's it. yeah. it's getting to the point now where even the, the players aren't happy with yeah, just jeopardises everything just mediocre being there yeah. and just I know, I know. making up the numbers when you've got Isaac Hayden coming out who didn't want to be in this club X amount a month ago saying well he still doesn't but of course he, can, he, he but, at least appreciates what, what is there but he's going what to we're capable of doing that, well I think really, really what he said or, or along the lines he hasn't physically came out and said it so he would stay if he knew the club was going to go somewhere but we're not we're physically not yeah. and of course, I it's think a, a, in the uh, summer I think we will spend a little bit of money, but not to the extent which which. But Hayden Hayden saying something like that, I'll stay if, if we're going to go somewhere. Jesus all right, all right, so. mate, all right. So where are you going to go now? Where are you going to you going to go? Norwich we decided last week. Uh, is he going to go to a club that's going somewhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That way. That's come on, come on, that's come on. true. I like him, but Jesus, come on! Yeah. Didn't call well, a He's back. He's back. The slap. Well, where's he going to go? Where's well, he going to go? In a position where where's he going to go? He's not going to. He may be bored as well. Like, well like, he may be thinking, I, mean, I need a fresh. He could go to Leicester. Like, Leicester could, you know. Well, what's Leicester doing with life? Like pushing up the table. Leicester's got a fucking bit of ambition about. Is them. Leicester close at London? Yeah. What's what's? <laughs> it's like four, three and a half sure? hours down the road, <laughs> isn't sure? it? You sure? Yeah. Top gear. No, special. We've got coming Lester, here. Leicester's on the main train line. <laughs> no, but no. To, to be fair, sorry, I'm having a go there. Hayden is damn correct. Of course, he's right. He's, he's right in what he's saying. We all know that we need investment. Kevin Keegan said it fucking ten years ago, man. Yeah. We will never go anywhere as a club while Mike Ashley is the owner. He was right then. He's right now. We're not going anywhere. Are we? But what? we could, and that is the annoying, frustrating thing. And, and that's not me being a deluded anyway, Newcastle I, I, fan I saying we're going to get... I don't expect we'll win the league. I don't expect we're getting Champions League. I don't even expect we're getting Europa. But I expect to, like... Let's try and, progress. you know, get 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, like we did... Cut run. Last but season. But if you look at... Get up the table. Like, challenge if, up there. If you look if you look at if you look at the league table now, right? I'm, I'm not 100% on this, right? So I might be wrong. But if, if Kennedy scores that against Cardiff, right? Oh, we could... And all, exactly. all of a sudden, yeah, we yeah. could be 8th. Or ninth or whatever you've just said. So it's well. Let's let's not, not let's difference. not let the the league table. Uh, and that's why it, it's it's annoying because it's it's so close because of what Rafa gets out of the team and because of the results for, that we get. For getting. me personally, all I am interested in is a cup run. Right. It's all I want is a cup run. We so would you take it. relocation if we no, 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 of course no, I would not. But I would rather stick my fingers up at seventh, eight, well, seventh, I would eighth, ninth, tenth, and I'd rather finish twelfth and get the semi finals. I agree. But we we will never we will never win a cup. In, in the state that we're in because we don't have the strength and depth to do it I still think we could be better I've had this argument before but I then do. Do. you look at Brighton who made the cup final totally agree Semi- well, cup, what, how was. Was. but that's two, but two that's what you tend to, that's what you tend to see though isn't it right. the, the teams that get on and get to the, the final well, Watford, they always struggle in the league we got beat off Watford and Watford are in the final yeah, that one yeah. Watford that played correct? well though no, well, maybe they did but, but all I'm saying though is, is, is Watford but Watford got a big squad of money behind them but is, is the squad as good as what you you're like trying to, to portray there? Because it's not like what I don't think it's. That it's good, probably like, just on. It's all right. Don't get it wrong. They've got some very good players. But look, like, so have we. It's only like fringe it's all, players, have we? I know you're saying squad, but, I, but I've had this argument before. Is it six games and you're in the final, or past five games and you're in the final? Is six would be the final. Come on, come on. They can play five more games a season, eh? In one of the competitions, even if it was the League Cup, eh? You, you, well, your first round is against nobody anyway so you could literally play a reserve side and probably get through anyway what it needs is it doesn't necessarily need it. yes of course it'd be lovely if I had a bigger squad it needs someone to really really get in there and sort of explain how much it means I don't even think Rafa cares about it I don't but honestly I, I don't that, that's the problem though it, it, in the grand scheme of football it doesn't mean anything anymore to the fans it only means something to the fans so then what so then, what do the players mean by well, invest more because we want to, we want to, we want to do more? What, what do they mean by that? You get what do they mean by you that get then? peanuts for winning the FA Cup. It's not about it's not money. About the money. It's not about money. Though. No, they get paid enough anyway. A fan point but of it point is yeah. from a club's point of view. I no, I know, but I know that. But I, I agree with you. Nah, us as fans, 
would love to go to Wembley and win win a win a cup final. Which I know is hard. I'm not even saying win the final. What I am saying is give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. I mean, we'll Try play, and get past the first we'll, round. I think well, third we'll, round. We played Watford at home, um, and I'm sure we feel it a, a strong side. We, we did, it was hot. Yeah, decent, it was still. It was, it it was, was stronger, stronger than we played strong. in the. Yeah. It was just right. as strong as what theirs was. Right? But we were dreadful. dreadful. What? Absolutely Shocking. awful. And I just think like is that not the the one where we done the live stream afterwards? Yeah. And it was literally the, like the worst game I've ever seen. And that's top to bottom. That that's that's Rafa included in that for me. It's not just the players. It's not just actually. But oh, well, that's because just actually doesn't realistically Ra- Rafa knows he he cannot co- because let, let's see can what, we do. Let's, what, what let's can see we do. Let's see we do go and do that, go into that game and play a full strength team. Three of them get injured. Oh yeah, you know that. It's not a real fern, but that's <laughs> the <laughs> good that, that's the reality of the situation because it it's more important for the club to stay in the for the club to, to to stay in the Premier League than it is to go but in, then, and but get then away. You, you can't flip around and saying like, what if a player gets injured? What if you guys want to score hat trick? Like uh, it's ifs and buts, isn't it? So like we're thinking worst case scenario. To, to every be, to time. Be, so for for you to have the opinion of what you're saying is you don't want to play a cup game because if you play a cup game someone gets injured we could be fucked. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not saying no, that. Well, that, in, no, in that, that is that, a that, what you're saying there, right? In that in that regard, right? What would it then take for us to not be thinking like that? I'm, I think strength, would, strength and depth. Yes, but how strength how much would it take though to get to the stage where you go? Well, actually, wouldn't mind if he got injured. We've got him to replace. Well, that's that's, that's, you're that's, that's when you need to. Nah, you, you, you are. You talk. Well, you talk because the likes of Leicester, Watford. Brighton, Brighton did spend money in the in the summer. Brighton spent a hell of a lot more money than we did. But we're probably in one of the, the same yeah. positions of what those teams are. Where if they lose a key player, there's not going to be another player that's going to be able to come in and do exactly the same job as what they're doing. Not like Man City or someone else like that. But the thing is, like, just just go back to you know around that Christmas time, we were down to the bare bones. Sean Longstaff had to come into the no, team. That's true. Yeah, I'll give you that true. one. I'll yeah, give you that true. one. Yeah, I'll give you that one. But I'll still say, <laughs> I'll still say this: the cup, the cup games, right? You'll play a Rochdale in the first round. Second round, you might play a Championship side. Then you might get a Premier League side, possibly. Right? All of a sudden, you've played three games, and you just need a oh, little yeah. bit more, and you, you could but be there. I'm, I've, and, and I've seen us in two cup finals. I've oh, seen us in no. semis. To be fair, though, like that one no, game, I wouldn't say it was lack of lack of Rafa putting the team out to win a game because I think that team could have easily. Yeah, won we that we game. just we didn't. It's just the team up was that game. shit. Shock, the day. Repulsive that was that performance, like horrendous. And I think Watford, the the, the, the draw Watford got next was so was easy. It was a decent yeah. game after so, that. And you're thinking, quite even the quarters then. It's not much, you know. Sorry, the the difference is what we're trying to say was is I'd rather finish 10, 11, 12, even thirteenth maybe. But give a cup a go. Then finish eighth and just go well, that's it. Well, get yeah. knocked out get knocked out the first round of everything. I'd finish eighth. But, that's, to get a but when you've got when you've got right. that you know, impetus behind you, you've got that strength and depth that allows you to compete on on more than one front. But, I don't think but our team should be able to play. Look at the, look the seasons of the world. Look at the seasons man. Burnley's had this year. Because they win the UA, the Europa League. Aye, but they've been play, shocking. But you play more games in Europa League than the FA Cup, man. You only play Just six the games. Group stages, the group more. stages you're playing home and away. So I understand. I totally understand that that's going to test you to your limit. But the cup doesn't for me. Like, I don't think there's many squads that have got like teams that have got a depth of squad to to the, the likes of the, the top teams. So it's really it's, it's those that teams right. in that gap that I'm talking about that are the ones that can do it. But I don't think Brighton because have that. they're not good enough. What's that? Didn't have it. Brighton didn't have it. Leicester possibly. Brighton, Leicester possibly. Yeah, Brighton. Definitely Brighton don't. Brighton have, have. Didn't the Leicester? But I think have Brighton. Have... Brighton is. Sorry, sorry, Timmy. Brighton's. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton's league form has been affected because they have oh, had a successful. I mean, ridiculous. <laughs> they were right behind them. Mean, ridiculous. Oh. So their league form hasn't been affected because they reached the final. I cannot have that. If they win. Against us on, on Saturday, the game that's just gone. How many points does that put them behind? One, one two, something like that. Something it's not like a great that. deal of points. Right. So what's our excuse the, the, then? The, the, uh, well, aye, aye, aye. Like our excuse is just clear with shit. But like going back to the whole but it was, but it thing, was. Like, all. But I still think though, even I know you're saying fans like it. I kind of disagree. I think when it gets to the cup weekend, no one cares. Fans that go, they take, they take the children, and that's the and that's probably because but we just don't care. For yeah, the last that, that is. for the last twelve years, we've just never we've never turned up or we've never bothered. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. We have to try and make it be bothered. Rafa has to tell the players. Something has to change. And the club do bring the prices right down to try and get yeah, people to make like five ten, for a kids. Five for kids, isn't it? Because I'll take the bit next year, definitely. And I would love to just give it a go. Do you know what I mean? And maybe this next year might be the one. Not win it. Christ, not win it. Be amazing. But at least give it a go. Even the League Cup, man. The League Cup. Any? No one wants to fucking win that. Really, do they? Even the big, give it away. Even the big sides play the reserve. Now, don't get us wrong. The last few years, I will have gotten Man City quite early on or Chelsea yeah, away. Or Arsenal. Fair enough. We've got Arsenal in the cup for you God knows how many years. You hold your hands up and you're like, right, get on with it. But there's a few times where we've played like Rochdale, we've getting through. Then you play such and such, you've getting through. Then you play Watford. The first kind of tough test, mm. get beat. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's it. We not, never. Not, it wasn't even a close game. But it was only, it was only it was what? Two, three three no. years ago, we got through to the. The quarterfinals, didn't we? Against Hull, we got beat. Oh, penalties. Penalties oh, well. So. Yeah. Yeah. It can be it's, done. it's it's a bit of a look of the draw as well. We never get a nice easy run of home drop games. And, I, and stuff I wouldn't like want that. that you like, know. I'll be honest, I wouldn't. I'd, want I'd, that. I'd take that every day. Would you know? Get to the final, you would. Nah, you, you're you just frauding. I'd that. love to play a bloody Shrewsbury and Northampton Town at home every every round. You would. If that's getting you a Wembley. Of course, you would take. If it. all the rest I of guess, the Premier, if, if all the rest of the Premier League teams are getting drawn against each other, I would love that because then that makes our life easier. I know it does, but. So I, still, I, would, a, I would be going down there going, Jesus Christ, like, well, we've give, been a bit I wouldn't like, oh, give a toss. I know, I know. <laughs> I'd rather beat Man City, Arsenal, we'll Chelsea. We'll that line in Trafalgar Square. Be sure, not me. You won't think about the teams that we've played when before. You, when you see that like, video of me swimming with me top off in the in the pond. Let's hope we have me right back in the I wish we had got injured in that game. <laughs> right, so Neil, Neil's and last I bet question. we wouldn't leave it in such a mess. This is Neil's last question, I promise you. He sends it. one, yes. With the possibility of Hayden, Shelby, Diorme going in the summer. And How the rest. much do you think it will cost to replace them? So Sh- Shelby, man, I don't really love Shelby, but I don't. How oh, yeah, like? Oh, he's gone. We're not going to struggle to replace him. Oh, I don't know. Like, we're um, gonna, Tom, Tom Kenny and we're Aaron Moy. We're, 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 we're getting both of them apparently, aren't we? What, what Shelby's input this season? Very low. Exactly. Like, Very low. We're not going to miss him. I don't think we'll miss him. Here to see I told you so. Shelby's one of those players I don't dislike him I don't really think he's a great player for him. he's like middle maybe, of the maybe, maybe I like him more I don't know why I, I just do I, I, you, you have you always I've I've had, I hated him before he played I still say he's one of the most cleverest players we'll have in terms of on the ball Look, he's, he's, tick, I think he's, he's technically fast. brilliant but he's slow but let's well, remember slow, the game against Brighton was, there was a couple of passes I remember that just went to no one well, I, like when, to when, no one but when, you, when you're passing 87 times you can't do 5 or 6 that he's always, always making excuses for him no but, but, but he's a Mariam but he I, if you look at our team like, I reckon he will do more passes than any player on the pitch he's not going to shag you know well actually he won't not because <laughs> he won't because like, <laughs> D- Dummett obviously plays what? a lot of passes but just like 2 yards but Shelby generally will try to create things all the time play Hollywood ball Instead Aye, of just yes. like possibly yeah. nice simple ball yeah. but to be next one. Hayden's going to be harder to replace for the money that we'll get uh, for him. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. And Diorme. Well, I'm hoping this season will pump his his price up a bit. Do you think Diorme has already been replaced? Diorme will be gone. Diorme will be off to China or let's, Qatar or somewhere. Let's it? hope Longstaff can come back and, and somehow same, just yeah. be the same man yeah, and, yeah. and do what he's been doing. I hope well, he he's going to be back for for pre season, so yeah. so he will be back. He'll have a good good train before before. Uh, the season starts so fingers crossed he'll yeah. come back and, and pick up where he left off so Daryl Mitchell another one he says given the result at Brighton how annoyed are you that we didn't finish them off in the first half when they were pure shit mm-hmm. um, and should <laughs> we be fizzing. you know <laughs> Jesus <laughs> and should we be annoyed now our season's done no, uh, no still so we're... the next question is hang on we'll answer that one so still should we be annoyed play, Darryl, our season isn't done because we've got a huge impact on, on what's going to happen next week I am. Um, it, it's done, right? It's done. It was done weeks ago. What's so you say? Man City's winning it. Oh, of course they are. Of course they are. Um, so Man City, you got to play Burnley, is it? They've just played them, beat them on out. Oh, did they? Just when was that? Uh, Sunday. Um, they've got Leicester at home, and then they've got uh, Brighton away. Right. Okay. So the win Brighton, the, the winner of the Brighton game. Leicester. The Leicester game. one is the one. It's a tough one. I mean, when does they play Leicester? Be next weekend, same as us. I think they play before. Before we us. Liverpool, well, they do, aye, because they're the they're so the if they win that game, they're the half twelve kick off, aren't they? If, if they win that game, then then our our game could go either way because Liverpool won't win after that. They're not win the league after that. Uh, the the question, how I'm looking at it, sorry, maybe is that the same season's done. The the reason I'm looking at that is because we safe. we all were safe. We would all took that. I wouldn't want to be going against Liverpool Holiday, needing yeah. a win to like, stay up. You know what I mean? So I'm pleased that it's that way. He seems to me. Man City, oh, Man City. Oh, right, okay, oh, right, so okay, yeah. yeah. 
they'll, they'll, they'll beat us like oh the Spurs that play at the dinner line they'll, yeah. they'll beat us and the only reason why I say that is and, and I could be wrong but we always perform very very well historically on the last game of the season it, uh, sorry the last home game whatever yeah. it is Chelsea amazing there's Tottenham 5 nil or whatever it was I just feel we've got too many players that ain't going to be on the West Ham I think oh. Almiron's off obviously he, he would have if Almiron game. was on I think you know, but championship game who do we play was it Tottenham was it Tottenham Oh, when um, that's going to see more than three. Was it three one? Was it Barnsley? Barnsley. 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 Yeah. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. The Chelsea game was unreal. I think. I think West Ham's Jonas scored. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you know West what? Yeah. Do you know? I should. I know. I should know this answer. I'm normally really, really good, right? But please help us. That game against West Ham, right? Mm-hmm. What won two 0 Yeah. Yeah. Who scored the first one? Uh, good TRS. No. 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 He scored the Zogo. Yeah. Header. It was a header, wasn't it? Was it? Was good good header, so. uh, I just uh, someone on Twitter was probably giving it large. It was about Tiger Woods because you know Tiger Woods won the Masters, mm. and then this kid came on and was going mental, saying that that was the goal that kept up. That's what was. I'm sure scored first. Uh, as much as I love Jonas, that was not the goal that kept up. We would have won one in anyway. Sorry. It was yeah. Wait, you Come can't on. say what. So you're saying that goal kept up? Of course it did. It didn't. It helped, with, but it didn't. That was not the goal that kept up. Like, wasn't? Both the goals kept up. Exactly. So so it was, but Neymar mentions his goals. Because he's a cunt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, sorry, move on. So there, uh, let's have a look. So the, so the next one sent in by Arun. I haven't heard from Arun for a while. No, no, no. He's saying, hello lads, how are you he all doing? He was commenting on the video. We're great. doing well, mate. Doing mint. My new Ben's great. Life's good. So hypothetically speaking... Did that's how your Ben was? I'm just saying. I'm asking the question. <laughs> you don't know what I'm asking the question. Hypothetically speaking, he says, let's say Miggy does the same next season as this season. Has a great team impact, but doesn't actually score a goal. Oh, could is not then, care less. Is he then regard, regarded as a flop? No. If he's not scoring a goal for the duration of oh next season, my God, oh my God, he God. needs to score a goal, mate. He needs to get an assist. So Perez scores a hat-trick, right? Last week, right? <laughs> I know. And he's <laughs> kicking off, he's not tracking back. And now all of a sudden, if he doesn't score ever, it's Aries. But if he, come on, mate. Come on. Who, who cares if he doesn't score? If he's I care. Probably I'm here on cares now. Well, he, I. Rafa for cares. He if he's creating score. chances for the team and stuff like that, putting in, in the own, performances that he's getting, is, we'll, we'll give him. Like, he, will, he will. Uh, he we've will. We've already seen this in the in the last you know two months. His desire to score a goal for the us. The thing is, some of the shots that he's had, some of the shots have been put up, but some of them he's been so unlucky he's about right, to exactly. score them. Like some of the he's saves been, that keep us pulled off against his shots. He, he's been absolutely incredible for it, right? And, and the, the, the pundits haven't given him enough credit because he hasn't scored mm. that or hasn't assisted properly um, if he went the whole to. season I'd be like ah, this, this bollocks <laughs> them the way bollocks um, I love him mate absolutely love everything about him but that's, that, sure that's the thing goes, is like sure he get goals. I wouldn't I wouldn't care less because there's loads of people writing him off saying he's been the biggest flop of the season because he hasn't scored goals he hasn't got and anyone seen Fred play so, oh, no, but this is what, what I mean. Not no, not, not Newcastle fans. No, it's not Newcastle fans that are saying that. Sunderland it's other fans, <laughs> fans of other Aye, clubs. Basically, Aye. Sunderland Aye. fans, because it was on <laughs> like um, like something like the Premier League or BBC yeah, or something yeah, like that yeah. about uh, Almer. In fact, was it not that Daily Mirror article saying mirror. that he'd been a big Daily Mirror, big flop. Mirror. And there was like loads of fans of other clubs saying, yeah, yeah, yeah he hasn't scored a goal, he hasn't got assists. That's right. Everybody else that's seen him play is like. You miss you, you don't see what he brings yeah, to the, the just team watch match of the day. Exactly. They just match of the day. And that's what and that's why I can sit here and say I yeah. wouldn't care less if he didn't score because if he did right. what he's done this season ten past ten over the full year on the twenty ninth he's had a great season. <sighs> At the end of the day he, he's gonna be judged on, on his goals and assists though, isn't he? He is, mate. You know attack midfield left and getting near goals or assists like like, be, can you think of a striker that that's he will going, look? Look, it's never going to happen, is it? He's, he's, it's ne- he's not going to go all season without scoring. Of course, I, he will. I, I put the kiss of death on him now. Like, but no, I, 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 I was wanting to try and st- <laughs> not take a single assist, assist. <laughs> not a single goal. If, if he do, if he has a performance next season like he's done in the last couple of months, he will have had a fabulous season, yeah. regardless of whether he scores zero goals or 20 goals it'd be great to be fair get a full pre-season with us get him back you know what I mean yeah. mm. he, I'd love, I'd love very, nothing very more for him than to, to go on and smash it up you know it is as well not too remember much though, so you don't game. want to get too much attention remember when it was first game when he was through and he ch- that chip I know that's it Fuck, if, I know. Just went in. Oh. if that's gone in he's I bagging a board loads I know. I, know. I, know. No, I, I think I if that goes in he has the same impact as what CC had when we bought him in the January Oh, I don't know. CCA was that was a great one. stall. That I one, loved it. him. You know, still, still, I don't believe. I just remember that day when he ran around the back of the goal and showed me. Oh, we had dragon back. 
Remember when he jumped in the crowd, man, in the Yeah, the, great the pitch at Sunderland, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, he he scored him. loads at last minute. He was a good player in that CC. He was underrated. People give him far too much shit and it still pisses off. He this scored, day. He honestly scored. It's because he went rapidly downhill, didn't he? I don't With think his, he did. His injuries and I don't he lost think he did his pace. It's, it, it's a fact that uh, we've said it so many on. times. The, the, the players Dubai around him delivering. weren't as good as what he was. And I, I still believe that. He's two goals against Chelsea away. No, the, the, the second one was that good. Incredible. The, no one talked about the first one. Yeah, it was incredible. Unreal, the first the one. one was great. His first goal was mint. He knocked it up for himself. Didn't he? I knocked yeah. it up for himself. And then the second one, well, God, I mean, not really. it's it's not just the second one. It's it's Drogba's reaction yeah. to the second one, yeah. where he's he's is him, he's, he's looking at Pardew. Pardew, 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 like, Pardew was manager at the time, yeah. and yeah. he looks at Pardew and he just like just yeah. looks at him like that, and it's, it's honestly it's a fantastic. Goal. Absolutely loved Cissé. Loved him. I really did. Really did. Really did. It's just a shame he went out the way he did, isn't it? So it still shocks people that like Rafa Benitez managed to pass. Yeah, season. I know he scored. Didn't well, he? we we, we kind of sat around this it. table and yeah. he was was he the only player that we didn't get? Couldn't even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I remember when when we got the answer, I, I refused to believe. It. I was <laughs> like, nah, nah, that's a lie. That's some of the players he was coming out with. <laughs> oh, oh hi, Barry. Well, well, that's because we were scraping the barrel. <laughs> Malcolm McDonald, <laughs> 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 Philip Alvey. Oh, you ain't even But yeah, like it's CC. He was on the real end. Of course he was. He was a great was. player for this. People are just twats, man. He scored like 13 and 13, and they were like, right, well, I expect 30 out of 30. Yeah. And it's <laughs> just like, get a bridge. God, go away, will you? But anyway, his luck. Sure. But like he's with Perez, which is the same. Like what he is with Perez, just can't, can't seem to see the good in people. <laughs> I, can, I can see the good when he does it. <laughs> I'm just waiting, young man. Can we just end but this? But I don't forget about the bad. really nice about Perez. Go on. Hey, something like that. Can you just look in the hey, camera? Hey, mind you, just, though. Mind just, you though. Come on. Talk about his hair for a second, right? It's ridiculous. You know how good it is? How does it stay? <laughs> how, like that? Chip fat. Like, he scored a hat trick on the other week. Like, one of them was a header. Cement. And he's still going to the end. He was like, his brother's jizz. The Bracca's like that as well, though. And now he's a header of the ball. Like, but Paul but Darlow. He's still diving in that. Paul Darlow mostly used three tins of hair like a. Like a. Ah, oh, it must be hairspray. Like, has to be hairspray. Definitely wax, yeah. wax gel, oil. It's got to be hairspray and spray. Tar, like, tar. How, how do you get it? To stay like just like that, freeze like? it. Stick it in the freezer. Like, I know you don't have that trouble. Like, but if I, if I ever grow mine in, like, I open the front door, and go wait, woof, it's off. It's done. Quips all over the place. You remember like, them days? Perez there, like we could just like sit, like in a fan or something, just but like sitting like, there, just like it's not moving. The way like when he does mess it, it's like it's just like a. A thing like that, isn't it? He, he, he should he should do a should get a sponsorship like a, a grill cream for, for like a gel or something. Go, I use this and I get. So like, no, have the Liverpool team had? Did they have Gillette? Was it Gillette? They, do, they had they, Dover they, something like that. No, they're they doing Nivea. Nivea, 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 right? Nivea. Okay. No, so if the Newcastle squad would have to do one, what do you think it would be? Well, we've Tomato had sauce. we've had brute over the Tomato years, sauce. haven't we? Brute, brute. Kevin brute. Keegan was the brute. Sugar puffs. We've had sugar puffs. Sugar puffs with and McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. So what would it be now? Nowadays, yeah? if the Newcastle team had to promote something, right? Oh shit! I think we need a sports more direct. For this question. I would be sports Fuck direct. Now the Debenhams. They would have been wearing like fucking Lonsdale trainers and that. Yeah. Hi, the sales would get that massive fucking black bag. Yeah, they would Thanks, Pet. <laughs> Yedlin would have like one Dunlop trainer and one like Lacoste one on. Just you to, like, guarantee you. Co- they'll be uh, they'll they be advertising the new the new flannels on uh, Northumberland Street. Must be something that they would advertise, something local. What could they advertise? Greg's. Greg's, I just think Greg's. I'm trying to think really. Rob man. Elliott, see, he could. Aye. He, he could advertise the vegan sausage rolls. The Metro. <laughs> Did you see, um, what's he called? The old uh, assistant manager was getting the Metro in uh, training the other day. Who? No, I didn't know. Ego. Ego. Oh, How was, was he? he what's he called? Matt? Ego. Mikel, isn't it? It's Mikel. Uh, he's Ego. Real Which name. tone was Ego on this? You know, he got sent off against. That was uh, never a sending off for him. So that happened. He was a. Uh, my mate asked him in training. He said, "Oh, why did you get sent off?" He says, "He says I never spoke a word." He, he didn't. I was sat right in front of it. I got told I got sent off because I stepped outside the area, the yeah. box. That's why I got sent off. Because I got told that. I asked at the end. and says, "Oh, it's because he came out here." Technically. He didn't. He did nothing. It's ridiculous. Well, right. Man. I'm done. Everyone else done. Hi. No thanks. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks Let's for wrap your up questions. With, yes. uh, the, Yedlin Q and A number twenty two. If you, if you disagree with anything that was said, comment below. Put your right. answers comments, it's to good. these questions comments. before. If you if you want to slate Mark, feel free to do so. Right. We're I quite like reading con- those ones. I haven't said anything controversial this episode. No, he hasn't. Has he? Probably. Nah, he's been alright this one. But if you want to slate him, just anything about him, <laughs> we'll take it. 
<laughs> right, thank you everyone. Love you all. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. See ya. Thank you.